My name is Alexa. I work in the admissions office and I'm joined by my colleague Atlas, who works in the office as well. Um, I'm originally from the US, but I've been in Prague for almost six years now. So I have kind of the uh, view of a foreigner, but also have been here for quite some time. And Alice, do you want to introduce yourself as well? Of course. Yeah, thank you very much for joining. Uh, my name is Alice. Um, as Alexa mentioned, yeah, I work at the admissions office and I lived in Prague already for two years and I'm originally from Russia. Awesome. Thanks, Alice. So um, we're going to give you an overview of our school, of Prague City University, the different programs that we offer um, and what we offer outside of your classes as well, different events on campus, housing opportunities and things like that. Um, there is a Q&A function. So if you do have questions, feel free to write those in as you think of them. We may answer them throughout the presentation. And if not, we will kind of go over all of those at the end and make sure that, that you have no questions left unanswered. So let's get started. So um, I'm going to get started by um, introducing um, us as a university and who we are. Um, our university uh, offers programs at the foundation, bachelor's and master's levels in the School of Business, School of Art and Design, School of Media and IT and Education. Prague City University does not only give you the opportunity to receive an outstanding education, but also provides a getaway to your future employability. We do believe that uh, there is much more to a university than just memorizing facts to pass an exam. Um, and our teacher, uh, teachers de deliver dynamic lessons based on their real experiences and research. Our students participate in various uh, practical sessions and during their studies, they um, develop a wide variety and a wide range of skills, such as leadership, teamwork, uh, negotiation, collaboration, and so on. Um, our class sizes are kept quite small so that our students have the opportunity to actually interact with their teachers and create a, some sort of form of dialogue. Um, at Prague City University, we offer both Czech and British degrees and diplomas. Um, if you study on one of our bachelor's degrees, then your classes will be fully taught in English. Um, and your award will come from our educational partner in the United Kingdom, Teesside University. What's different to studying either in the UK or at a larger Czech university is that Prague City University offers a truly international environment. So um, I think we have students from over 80 countries um, and for most of them English language is not their first language. So if you're an international student and your first language is not English and you're a bit worried to start your studies fully in English, please know that your classmates actually might uh, share the same worries and I hope that you'll be able to support each other throughout your studies. So um, now we will move to our first school, School of Art and Design. Great, thanks Alice. So I will be talking about the different programs that we have in our School of Art and Design. Um, we have two programs at the master's level, two programs at the bachelor's level, and one foundation diploma in art, design, and media practice. So the foundation diploma is a really great first step if you're not quite sure which area of art or design you're looking to study in. So this is a one year program that helps you explore different areas of art. Um, there will be some painting, some design, some um, animation, some video, kind of every aspect that you can think of. Um, and then after this one year program, you will have a more professional art portfolio that you can then progress onto one of the two programs in this school or one later on that uh, the Alice will be talking about. 
So the first program in our School of Art and Design that I will be talking about is our Bachelor's in Graphic Design. So you'll be seeing a video that kind of looks over some of the projects that our students have done while I speak about different practices. So our Bachelor's in Graphic Design is a practical studio-based program which encourages independent learning and problem-solving skills. So you'll develop skills in topography, corporate identity design, web, editorial design, packaging, um, and you will become fully familiar with Adobe Suite and some other softwares. During this program, students are taught to think critically about design and not just what you're creating, but how your design can shape and influence the society that we live in. You'll also be working in a live studio environment with an engaging and real and client work. So you won't just be doing projects for school, but you will actually be working with clients in Prague. Some of our students have also worked with the Fringe Festival in Prague and Prague City University has been a long time partner and has helped kind of promote these, these events throughout the, the year. And our second bachelor's program in the School of Art and Design is our Fine Art Experimental Media Program. So in this video, you'll see some of the projects that our students are, are working on. Um, as you can see, they're, they're quite different from one another. So this program is studio based and it's to help prepare you to become a professional artist. So you'll learn how to express your ideas through different kinds of media and not only focus on one, one type. So you'll learn how to integrate these traditional techniques with more new media. So some animation, video, sound, um, and using these two together to create a new piece of work. You'll gain some technical skills in coding for websites and applications and video and editing. Um, but you'll also learn how to manage a bu budget and event planning. So you get kind of these um, hard skills and soft skills. In addition, you'll also have some art theory and professional development. You'll learn how to describe and curate the work that you present and even apply for a grant and managing a budget for your final exhibition. So our idea is to make you able to prepare a full exhibition on your own from creating the work to renting out the space. Um, for both of our bachelor's programs, um, and actually all programs in this school, you will have a final exhibition at the end of your studies. So the foundation diploma in art design media practice will also have this final show. Um, we do have these two programs at the master's level, our master in fine art and master's in future design. Both of these programs are in the standard format, which runs for four semesters or two years. So these can be taken after one of these programs, or if you're only looking for a master's degree, you can apply for this as well. And the second school that I'll be talking about today is our School of Business. Um, and I'm actually joined, well, we're actually joined today by one of our, our current students. Um, Aralan is, is studying in our School of Business. And so when we get to his program, I'll kind of bring him in and he can talk a bit more about um, what it's like to actually study in, in the school. So in our School of Business, we do offer a, another foundation diploma. So like the foundation diploma in art design and media practice, if maybe you're not quite sure what, um, what, which program you're looking for, maybe you need additional qualification after high school, um, or you just want more practice studying in English, this foundation diploma is a good start. So again, it's still one year long and you can progress onto one of the, the bachelor's programs after completion. Um, the first bachelor's program is our bachelor's in international finance and business accounting, which I think is Arlan's program. Is that right? Yeah. So if you want to go ahead and unmute, you can tell us a bit more about your, your program. Hi, everyone. I'm Arlan. Um, I'm a second year in international finance and business accounting. Um, so the course is 
as 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 you it's self explanatory i suppose it's international finance and business accounting but i would say what i loved most about the course was its approach to international finance actually because you'll learn really really cool things um and we actually have a business fintech systems class which is taught um in uh, connection with with the degree and uh, i when i was learning this i thought wow you know there's nothing more relevant at this point in time in the world and you know when you do the fintech class you'll learn about digital finance you'll learn about digital currencies but what it teaches you to do and what i love about my degree is it teaches you to think about future applications of accounting as opposed to just this is your degree and um there are a couple of special things to be mentioned with the degree with relation to acc and sema which i think alexa will expand on um if you take international finance and business accounting you'll be given uh, credits when you eventually want to do a c an acca or a sema and these exemptions will help you to kind of speed the process up and um Oh, I think uh, I think we lost our alarm for just a minute. So I um, I'll take over while he's coming back. Um, so while we're waiting for him, um, I'll keep going on to our bachelor's of international management program. So kind of like what he was saying, um, this program is similar in that it's really practically based and kind of forward thinking in the world of business and not only learning the information, but learning how it kind of applies to the future business today. Um, our students from this program can go into different levels of management, um, looking at maybe HR or something in this field. Uh, we also have two master's programs in our School of Business, the Master's in Leadership and Strategic Management program and the Master's in International Management program. So both of these are offered in the stand, uh, intensive format. So they can be completed in 12 to 18 months. So a pretty short period of time. Um, and then our master's in international management program can also be done in that standard format. So that, that 24 to 30 month, two year length time. The master's in leadership, Master's Leadership and Strategic Management program is ideal for working professionals who maybe already have quite a bit of work experience under their belt and are looking to work more as um, at the executive level or sit on a board for their company or something like this. So really looking at this more strategic side of, of management. The international management program is a really interesting next step for really anyone. Um, you can apply to this program from any educational background. So for example, if you studied in our School of Art and Design, you could also then go on and do this master's program and kind of um, get this mixture between business and, and art and design. Um, and then finally, as Arla mentioned, we have this ACCA and SEMA professional qualifications. Um, you can take these online and we do offer tuition towards these in our, our school. So Arlen, was there anything else that you wanted to add on to your program now that I see, I see you're back? Oh, I'm so sorry, I disconnected. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I was, just, I was just saying that, um, I think that every student has an opportunity to sign up for SEMA um if you're in the business faculty and you you don't have to be studying accounting to do it um and there's a couple nice things which i think are not really visible which will become more visible um our university is actually an advanced sema partner which means we get really good discounts on doing something which is called a finance leadership program and um so i'm doing my sema at the same time as my university degree and um sema is just helping me so much because I get to now pursue SEMA, which is a professional qualification. And uh, what I do in SEMA very much overlaps with my university degree. And it's just boosting, I think, everybody in the FLP program. And we're achieving really, really highly. So I would definitely encourage you to come for those reasons. Um, other than that, no, I don't have much to add about my degree. <laughs> All right, thanks, Arlan. So I think we'll go now to the next school that we offer and I'll let Alice take over from here.
Thanks, Alexa. Yes, so our School of Education is actually the most recent addition to our university. Um, its aim is to prepare students to be professional teachers, educators, and it combines both theory and practice. At the moment, we offer two programs. There is a Czech accredited bachelor's degree in specialized education, teaching English as a foreign language, and also a professional qualification for teaching English in Czech secondary schools. So um, our bachelor's degree in specialized education prepares you to uh, become a professional teacher and covers areas such as um, study of English as a foreign language and educational, psychological and linguistic components of teacher training. Um, the key component of the program is, of course, teaching practice, um, and it takes uh, place in small groups at first and includes immediate feedback from your teachers and your peers. Um, students' English uh, level should be at at least B2, and during the program, you can develop your skill at a higher level, so it could be C1 or C2 level by the end of the program. Um, also, this program allows you and offers you the opportunity to earn the Cambridge CELTA certificate, which, um, if you don't know, it's, uh, it allows its holders to teach English um, almost anywhere um, around the world. Um, our second program, which I mentioned, was the qualification, professional qualification for teaching English in Czech secondary schools, and it is mostly suitable for working professionals who already hold a master's degree um, and are looking to change their career. Now, our last uh, school is School of Media and IT, um, and we offer two uh, bachelor's degrees and one master's. They are all British accredited. Um, so the first bachelor's degree is in creative media production, where students become experienced storytellers with innovative and complex narratives and create engaging content uh, for different audience, uh, audiences and across various platforms. Um, during your studies, you will develop a wide range of skills. Um, these are technical skills such as shooting, recording, sound and video editing. So it is like a 360 degree approach uh, to content creation. Um, there are also interpersonal skills such as communication, negotiation, collaboration, and also leadership. And uh, there is also a social element to this program as we encourage our students to be socially aware. Um, they work with underrepresented groups of the society and create projects to help um, and make their uh, message heard. Also, I must um, add that this is a very practical program, as I think 80 to 90 percent of it is all practice. The second bachelor's degree that we offer it is in computing, and it can be approached via two paths, uh, multimedia, which concentrates on digital media, 3D modeling and game design. And also there is cybersecurity, which covers network security um, and secure applications development. The master's degree that we offer, as you can see, is also in computing, and it is for those students who would like to develop their skills at a higher level. Um, also, uh, both computing programs are available in the blended learning format, so if you're a working professional, this would be a suitable option. In addition to your studies, there are also other opportunities to get involved and kind of attend different inspirational events and some speaker series. So in each of our four schools, we have a speaker series where we invite professionals in to speak about their areas of expertise. So for example, in our School of Business, we have our master speaker series, the School of Media and IT, we have our Media Innovation and Technology series. Our School of Art and Design has the Visiting Artist and Lecturer series. And our School of Education now has our Excellence in Learning and Teaching series. So in all of these, um, they're actually open to the public. So if 
you know, you're interested in attending or learning more, they're also live streamed, I believe. So you can also watch those and watch some previous ones too, if you're interested in learning more. Um, we have additional art exhibitions and performances in addition to those final shows that our students have. So it's not only limited to those, those ones at the end of the year, but sometimes they kind of happen throughout the semesters too. And we have a variety of student council uh, events and some student societies. So some of the student societies that we currently have, um, we have a clay society, uh, which started over the last year. Um, we have a music society, yoga, gaming. So kind of a wide variety of, of different events. And if there's something that doesn't exist yet that you are really passionate about, we're also happy to help you start your own. So for example, um, a student maybe two years ago, he really wanted to have a student magazine. Um, we were talking even before he, he came through um, and I was his admissions advisor. And he was like, ah, yeah, I really want a magazine. And once he was admitted, he started a magazine. So, um, you know, it's not really, if, if it doesn't exist yet, it doesn't mean that it won't. So I'm really open to kind of helping you create and grow and explore some, some areas that you really like. Um, and then some student council events. So Arlon, I think you're, um, you're actually on the student council. Is that right? Yeah, I'm currently serving as student council treasurer. Mm -hmm. um, so the student council throws events that are all about enriching students' lives and uh, really helping you to socialize. So if you do end up joining our university, it'll be a great way to meet people. Um, our recent uh, events was actually uh, our Halloween party, which was a great success. A lot of students attended that. And uh, this week we're doing a clothing drive. So we do things like that, that not just, you know, help students and our own little Prague College community interact, but we're also focused on what's going on, going on outside of Prague College. And uh, student council is a great way to make connections. It's a great way to interact with the student body. And uh, it's a great way to become comfortable in your first semester with interacting with people, with working with others. And so those are some of the skills that it can give you. Awesome, thank you. So besides these events, um, we also have some other ways to get involved. So. Throughout the year, we always have an annual theme um, that kind of goes over all of the events that kind of happen throughout the year. So this year was Be the Change. So we tried to put on events that kind of um, uh, embody this, this theme. So maybe, for example, I'm, I'm in the Yoga Society, so we are um, kind of putting our, our focus towards what we can change within ourselves. So it's not only just one thing, but kind of this overarching um, theme throughout everything. Uh, we also have opportunities to learn outside of your program, which is uh, great. So we have some LinkedIn learning opportunities. We have a new applied philosophy course. Um, there's a new uh, architecture course that just started this semester as well that you can add. And there are Czech lessons. So if you are interested in, in learning Czech in addition to your studies, if you don't already know it, um, you can also add this to your schedules too. There are some opportunities for study abroad. Um, what that would mean for you kind of depends on um, what that would mean for visas and, and things like that. So we, we'd be happy to give you more information kind of one-on-one -on -one, depending on what your situation is. Um, and there are some regular career opportunities such as our career fair that we have every spring. So you can kind of network with different business professionals and pass out your CV and, and even see what's available before you finish your studies. And quite a few of our students do find work even before they, they graduate. So it's a nice opportunity to see even what's out there. Uh, additionally, we also have an active alumni association and industry network. So as Prague City University's partner, Teesside University, um, you will actually be an alumni of both schools and you get those benefits from, from both institutions. 
So I would, would now like to talk about our campuses. Uh, we have three campuses plus a digital one. Um, our main campus is located at uh, Polska 10. It is Prague 2, uh, very, very close to the city center. It is part of the old um, town. And there are also two art studios. One is more for undergraduate level. Um, and there is another one that is mostly for our postgraduate students. Um, our main campus offers Mac and PC labs that you can uh, use to work on your projects throughout your studies. Um, and also there's a library which you can access digitally. Um, also, our student services team is also there uh, for you to help and answer any questions that you might have. Um, you'll have a dedicated study advisor who's there for you to support you throughout your studies. And also before the semester starts, we organize a welcome week event um, where you can meet your fellow classmates, uh, the student council, learn more about the student societies that um, are actually running this year. Um, and also, if you're an international student or if you live maybe in the other town um, other than Prague, uh, the Welcome Week activities actually give you the opportunity to orientate yourself in the city and settle in. And if needed, we can help you to set up a bank account, choose a phone plan, um, and so on. And also, as Alexa already mentioned, there are Czech classes available uh, for our uh, students who need them, uh, who need them and um, also as you can see with the welcome week with the check classes and with our student services team we do really try to make your transition go as smooth as possible uh, since your arrival um, also I would like to touch on the student accommodation. Of course, it is more relevant for our um, international students. Um, so as you can see, typically there are two or three uh, student residences that we work with. Uh, typically, um, as you can see, it is Student House Cottage, Citrum and the Fizz. Uh, the price range could be around 350 to 450 euros, depending on the type of room that you choose. Um, of course, um, there is also, um, it depends on how high the demand is each semester. Um, so you, we would recommend when you choosing one of the um, student residences, we do recommend checking in with us, with your, uh, with your admission advisor, just to make sure that the accommodation is actually available for you for this semester. Um, also, we do we can recommend um, different accommodation options if you're looking for private accommodation or if the accommodation that we typically work with is full. So we will be happy to give you more information on where to look uh, for um, rooms or private apartments. I do know that Arulan has lived in one of the student residences that we work with. So if you could please just share your experience as a student, um, it would be really great. Um, okay, I lived in uh, both Zaytrums actually. There's one in Halanska and there's another one, I think it's called Uprano, which is a bit far, but it kind of just depends on which campus you're going to, but both reses are great. Um, from an experience standpoint, I think it was really great to have like a college dorm room, you know, and uh, just to interact with so many people because maybe it's done by partially by design, but all of the areas, the common areas actually give you great potential to interact with others. And that's how you can kind of start to make friends. And what's really, really cool about Zaytrum, I think, oh, well, maybe all of them, I haven't lived in the rest of them, is that they tend to give you a roommate who goes to the same university as you. And then you have an opportunity in which to not only form a friendship with that person, but to interact with them, to walk to campus together, to grab a coffee. And that really helps you to kind of acclimatize into your, into your, you know, your new, your new uh, experience. What also, it's just from a convenience standpoint, it's really easy. You know, you pay that one fee as a student and your Wi-Fi and your electricity and your water is taken care of. 
Um, another big thing is these apartments assist you to give you um, a confirmation of accommodation. So it makes it very, very easy to get your visa. And, um, you know, uh, to both accommodations, really, the tram stops or the bus stops are like literally one block away or around the corner. So you can literally just walk, jump on the tram. And, you know, before you know it, you're at university. So all in all, it was a good experience. And uh, yeah. Thanks, Arulan. Um, also, of course, we talked about Prague and described uh, and give you more information of what opportunities there are and our campuses, but also actually wanted to show you what Prague looks like and also um, show it like from a student's perspective. So we prepared a video for you. Um, so I'm just going to set it up. So please enjoy. Prague is a cosmopolitan city with excellent business links and a long-standing history as a cultural hub that continues to the present day. Prague is also a vibrant university city with students coming here to study from around the world for over 650 years. You will enjoy unlimited artistic, cultural and entertainment opportunities. You can participate in a multitude of sports year-round or watch many of the world-class teams and individuals who live, train and compete here. And on the weekends and your holidays, you can use your base in Prague to travel and explore all of Europe. Business networking, cultural events, theatres, galleries, sports and so much more. Combined with your studies at Prague City University, you will have many opportunities to get practical experience in your field of studies and to start and develop your future career. You will also gain a unique perspective on the world that our outstanding international education offers. Prague City University, a British education in the heart of Europe for a global community. So I hope you enjoyed this little video that we prepared for you. We will now move to the admission deadlines. Um, so I'll pass the word on to Alexa. Uh, so um, we have a few different deadlines. So depending on when you're thinking about starting your studies, um, if you are still thinking about this coming February 2022, um, as you can see on this, um, slide, the official deadline was the end of October. So this, we make this the deadline because many of our students who do need to apply for their visas, we recommend that they do apply sometime in November in order to get that in time to arrive in Prague for the start of that semester. So just because it says 31st of October doesn't mean that all hope is lost. Um, there may still be opportunities for you to start your studies online and then come to Prague once you're able to apply for your visa and travel. So depending on the program that you're interested in and if you need a visa, um, you can contact your admissions advisor to get more information if coming in, in February in person is, is still an option for you. If you're looking at September 2022, you can see that there is still quite a bit of time if you're looking to start. Um, but the end of this month, there's actually this early registration round. So you, you would get either an 8% off of your tuition for that first semester. Or if you do apply for a scholarship, you would receive an extra 25% of the awarded amount on top of that scholarship. And that's for every semester of study and not only the first one. So there are some really nice benefits for applying early and kind of confirming your place. And if you don't need a visa to study, um, you can see that there are still, there is still time to apply for either February or September. Um, the September rounds, again, it's that end of November to get that early registration bonus. And for February 2022, you can see we have 
still round two, um, which is the end of this month, or round three if you need a bit more time and would like to confirm sometime in January. So um, if you've already chosen your program um, and are ready to join us, um, the first step uh, would be to apply uh, and submit the required documents. So as you can see, uh, for the first thing would be your confirmation of completed education, your high school diploma if you're applying to a bachelor's program and your bachelor's degree if you're applying for a master's program. There is also proof of English. It could be IELTS or TOEFL or Cambridge, such as CE, CPE, FCE, um, or, and also Duolingo or any other equivalent documentation. We will be happy to um, review and let you know if one of your qualifications uh, meets our requirements. Um, then there is the letter of motivation. 300 words would be for the bachelor's level and 500 words would be for master's level. There is also a copy of your passport, a portfolio for art and design programs only. So for the foundation and bachelor's and master's level for the art and design. Um, there is also CV uh, that you would need to submit if you're applying for a master's degree and uh, references, which could be from your academic life or maybe from your um, work um, work life as well. Um, if everything meets our requirements, we will arrange the final interview between you and the program leader of your chosen program. Um, and if this is successful, we will then send you the offer to study, which uh, if you sign, um, we will then move to um, sending you the invoice. And once the invoice is paid, you will be officially enrolled in the program and we will confirm your place. And how will we teach in 2022-2023? So, we're planning to open face-to-face -face classes for both this coming February and the September semester, um, as long as the global health restrictions allow it. So at the moment, they do, um, but we always keep an eye on what the, the current laws are and current restrictions, and um, we are flexible in our classes, so we always want them to continue. So we keep your health in mind and also these laws in, in mind. Um, the Czech Republic does continue to welcome students from other EU countries as well as international students, so we are still open and um, visa um, appointments are open, so once you apply, you can apply for your visa at this time. Um, and again, COVID measures in place, we are keeping an eye on the current measures, um, kind of checking pretty frequently, and if anything changes, we, we let our students know imminently. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we were just we are very eager just to thank you very much for joining uh, for joining us um, today. Um, if you already um, you wish to start your application with us, or you just have any questions, um, you have like a specific situation that you would like to share. Um, you you can see our email address on the screen, uh, which. Of course, you can you can email us at any time throughout the year. Um, there are also um, different social medias that you can follow to find out more about the different events that we hold and our student life. We are on Facebook, um, YouTube, Twitter, um, and so on. Um, and of course. We will also at the moment, but there were a couple of questions that came mm -hmm. through. So of course we will um, go through those before we um, say our goodbyes. Mm -hmm. So I can see there is the first question about the amount of the semesters that the master's program um, has. So yeah, yeah, so how many semesters are there? The master's program, international management and computing. So for both of these programs, they're offered in either the standard or the intensive format. So the standard format, there are four semesters, um, which can be completed in 24 to 30 months. So about two years, depending on when you want to submit your dissertation um, or the intensive format, which is three semesters. So this one is two, two semesters of taught 
modules. And your final semester will be um, going over your dissertation, having frequent feedback meetings with your, um, your lecturers and making sure you're on the right track. So um, this can be done in 12 to 18 months. The, the format, it, it's decided kind of partially from you and also with the program leader. So um, during your final interview, they'll, they'll get more information about you and, and what you're looking for and kind of determine during that interview, which format might be best for you. And then um, there is another question about uh, requirements from the US. So I think the biggest thing with this is that English language requirement is that because you've studied, or for any students who've studied at either an American or British education system, you don't need the English language certificate. So if you've studied high school in the US or if you have A-levels or IGCSEs or something like that. So also with the IB diploma, um, you wouldn't need that English language certificate um, for that requirement because we know that you speak English at that, that level. It's the equivalency. And hello, Dominica, I see that you said hi, so, <laughs> hi. Aha, uh -huh, I see, yeah, there is another question mm -hmm. about the tuition fees. So for the international students, yes. Um, so the amount of 102,000 crowns, mm -hmm. this is the price for our, um, each of the semester, so each semester uh, of the master's degree in intensive format. So that would mean it would be three semesters and each semester would be uh, this amount, 102,000 crowns. There are also something that we might have not mentioned is that actually we offer scholarships that you can apply uh, for uh, at the same time as applying for your um, program. So uh, to these standard, like let's say, uh, documents that you are um, that you are submitting to apply for your program. There are also a couple of other documents that you would need to submit um, if you wish to apply for a scholarship. There are two types of scholarships, and we offer scholarships at the foundation level, at the bachelor's level, and at the master's level. Um, so for uh, the all of these levels, we have a social engagement award for the master's level, it would be social engagement and professional um, award and also uh, academic excellence award. So if you feel that uh, you did well in the classroom, academic excellence award would be most suitable for you. And if you feel that you done really well outside of the classroom, participated in a lot of extracurricular activities, then social engagement award would be a better option for you. Any other questions for us before we go? Oh, looks like one came through. Uh -huh. um, oh, thank you. Yes, option to study in external form. Yes, so um, we do have the blended learning format for quite a few of our programs. So um, depending on which, which program you are interested in, I can have a look um, later and maybe send you an email about it. Um, but this blended learning format is kind of ideal for working professionals who are looking to get their bachelor studies. So the majority of your, your work would be online or on the weekends so that you can still work full time. Um, and, and it's kind of ideal for, for that scenario. And Alice, it looks like there was one more question too about the possibility of a work permit after completing studies. Um, yes, so it, it would be possible for you to uh, switch uh, from the type of visa that we sponsor to a work permit. Um, of course, um, you would need to find a reliable employer uh, once you finish your studies, maybe our career fair 
would be would help you to find uh, a potential employer of course there are also connections like our program leaders even sometimes can reference you to uh, maybe some sort of internship and then after um, the possibility of employment so it would be possible to do it you would just need to find an employer who would be able to sponsor uh, your visas and provide the necessary documents yeah exactly so uh, I don't think we mentioned, so the as a British university in the Czech Republic, the type of visa that you would apply for with us is visa type other, not a visa type for study. So with this type of visa, um, we aren't actually able to offer this stay back option that the study visa does. So once your, your studies are finished, then um, your visa would be as well. But um, like I kind of mentioned, we have lots of career fair opportunities. Um, our lecturers are also involved with their, their respective studies and they often get um, like job opportunities from people that they know and kind of pass them along to students as well. So there are opportunities to find work to stay, but they're not necessarily from the type of visa that we are able to offer. Um, and then, so Dominica, the price for the kind of blended study, I'm actually just sending through the link to our um, tuition fees page because the type, the price for the blended studies also depends on which program. So you can have a look here um, to see the price for all of the blended programs. There is also another question I see about working while studying. So as Alexa mentioned, we do sponsor visa type other and uh, the with visa type other, you are coming to the Czech Republic only to study. So officially, officially, you are not allowed to work. You're coming here only to study. And then once you finish your studies here, you can switch to work permit or other type of visa to start your, um, to, yeah, start your employment. I, I will say, so if you're looking at this, these master's studies, um, usually for master's students looking to come on a visa, they are um, encouraged to do this intensive format because of this unable to work during your studies. Um, I'm also a student on one of the master's programs in the standard, so the part-time format, and it is quite intense, even part-time. So I think if you're looking to come and work while studying, even in this intensive format, it will be um, quite challenging, I would say, and quite a lot um, coming to a new country to do, to do both. It's not impossible. A lot of students do it, but it's just something to kind of consider and, and think about. And Arulan, any any um, thing you wanted to add at the end of our presentation? No, I think you guys really did cover it quite well. Um, I would encourage any potential students to reach out to me if you want a, a different perspective. You can always ask Alexa or Alice for my email, mm -hmm. and um, I'm happy to chat with you. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Well, if there aren't any more questions, um, then I think we will go. Um, feel free to email your admissions advisor if you have any other questions. We will also be in touch with you uh, over the next couple of days. So we'll, we'll check in and see if you need anything. And if you are ready to apply, just let us know and we can send you that full application package to get started on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.